What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be replacing the spark plugs on a 2011 Ram 1500 with a 4.7 liter V8 engine. And we're going to try to do this as simple as possible. Okay, here are the new spark plugs. We have a V8, so there's two packs of four, which is eight. First thing we need to do is we need to remove the intake uh, box. All right, so we can get access to the engine, make it a little bit easier. And we're gonna start by removing this clip. One, you just press on this little tab, pull out. We're gonna get a screwdriver, loosening up these two clamps, get this out. And then um, I believe it's this bracket right here. Yeah, I think this is the mount right here. We're gonna get, it's probably a 13 maybe, or a 10. 10. Yeah, it looks like a 10. Take this off so we can uh, take this out of here. There may be some other bolts around. I'm gonna look around and let you know. All right. After you loosen these up, you should be able to remove this hose. There we go, just like that. And we'll move on to that. Grab your 10 millimeter, loosen this up. Take it out. Actually, before we even begin, let's disconnect the negative battery cable. Here we go. So once you loosen up that bolt and you um, take the hose out and unplug it right here, all you got to do is just wiggle it, push, pull it up from the front and wiggle it out and it comes out just like that. All right, exposing our spark plugs and coils. Mm -hmm. All right guys, with the uh, intake removed or the air box I should say, we are, oh look at this crap right here. Anyways, we have exposed our coils and spark plugs. So the next thing we need to do is, you see that nut right there? I believe that's um, I believe that's a 10 as well. Maybe, we're gonna double check though. You're gonna wanna take this off. First of all, you wanna unplug this one. So just press on the tab and then pull out. Let me do it with my head. Right, just like that. So now you have access to get this out. Let's get an extension in the socket, get down there. And uh, once we take this off, we pull it out. Let's take this wire off. There we go. My spark plug wires. And all we need to do is loosen that nut, take this out, and we'll expose the spark plug, all right? All right, so we're gonna try to break it loose. There we go. And then take her out. Needed a little more persuasion. All right, now you can undo it with your hand and you're able to pull out the whole coil. Now it's a good time to inspect them, make sure they're good. Don't worry about this because it is not gonna go anywhere. All right. It wouldn't hurt to clean them up too, so we're gonna clean them up and lubricate them. All right, here we go. I'm gonna set this to the side. Here you go, my friend. This is the first one? This is the first one, yes. Now we have exposed our spark plug. There she is right there. We're gonna get a spark plug socket and try to get down there and take it out. All right, guys, so once you have completely loosened up your spark plug, pull this out. Onto this, my friend. Grab yourself a handy magnet. Pull that out. Be careful not to drop anything in there. No trash or nothing like that. All right, let me see that, sir. This right here is your old spark plug. And we're gonna go out the old in with the new. Here's the new spark plug. All right, so this is how I like to put them in. Watch. I like to get my magnet. I like to grab it. Magnetically like this very carefully. And then guide it down. Just like that. Try to twist it a little. And then make sure if it doesn't thread, that's fine. Just try to 
leave it in there okay now we're good we get the spark plug socket put it in here and we like to start them in by hand to make sure they go in nicely and they don't get cross threaded okay because you gotta be careful all right and let's see all right so once you get it nice and tight right there you're ready to put your uh coil back on plug it back in screw it in and you're good to go on this side and the top ones the procedure is exactly the same so you can do the rest on all the other ones okay exactly with uh same thing with the other side do the same thing with those all right all right guys keep in mind that uh, 4.7 hemi that's a total of 16 spark plugs you gotta follow the wire down i don't know if you can see it right there let me try to brighten it up there we go that's your bottom spark plug the procedure is fairly the same all you need to do is just uh what we did is we grabbed this thing put a little bit of uh, wd-40 and gently pulled it out and then pulled out just like that to pull the bottom rubbers uh wires and then we grabbed our extension and socket just like this and uh put it in so here we go we're putting the bottom one in right now and um the procedure is screen protector all right well i'm glad my phone didn't didn't break anyways um the procedure is basically the same for all the other rest of the spark plugs so we're gonna stop the video right here and then catch up with you here we go